What would you do if you were asked to starve yourself for science? In 1944, 36 men volunteered to endure six months of severe hunger in the name of research. They weren't prisoners, they were conscientious objectors, men who refused to fight in World War II but agreed to suffer in a different way. Confined to the dorms at the University of Minnesota, they lived on strict, meager rations. Their meals were little more than stale bread, boiled potatoes, and watery cabbage soup day after day, meant to simulate wartime starvation. The goal? was to help scientists understand starvation and how to safely refeed millions of people in war-torn Europe. But the effects were brutal. The men became skeletal, gaunt, and hollow-eyed. They fantasized about food, obsessively reading cookbooks and hoarding scraps. One man even chopped off three of his own fingers in a fit of psychosis, and another tried to attack the scientists. And when the starvation phase ended, well, they couldn't stop eating. Their bodies craved more and more and they never felt full. It rewired the brain and body in ways that lingered for long after the experiment. It even made them sick while doing so. Now, the data helped guide post-war relief efforts in Europe, shaping how millions of starving civilians were safely reintroduced to food. But did those life-saving findings justify the suffering? Let me know what you think. No days off, new fact daily. I'll see you tomorrow.